The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how the vertical line tests can be used to determine if a graph of some line or curve is a function or is not a function. Now everything is a relation, so um, I'm going to start with an example that has a line here. I'm going to show you, uh, well, eight different graphs, but one of them's got a couple different uh, things on it. So this is just a line or a straight, some people say straight line. I don't usually use the word straight there because every line is straight. So um, and for a few of these, I'll write out the equation, although you really, really don't need to know what the equation is to use the vertical line test. This is the line y equals a half x plus 1. Now, what you're trying to do with a vertical line test is, is, is look at the graph and say, is there a place that I can draw a vertical line through this graph to cross it in more than one place? So I'm going to draw three lines for this first one there, there, and over there. But notice that each one only crosses the line in one place. So that first one crosses right there, but right there only one place. This one crosses right there, but that's the only place that vertical line goes through the red red line. And the, the third line I drew, once again, there's only one place it crosses. So since I can't find a place to draw a vertical line that crosses in more than one point, we say this is a function. So, so that that's how you use the vertical line test. Now I'm going to show you several examples, and you might after a few start thinking, well, everything's a function, uh, but that's not the case. So for example, in the second one, I'm going to graph a parabola. It's the, this is the most basic parabola, y equals x squared. And again, draw a vertical line, and that vertical line only crosses in one place only. Uh, if I draw it over here like this, that point is the only place that vertical line cuts through the parabola. So we would say that this is a function. Now you might say, well, why don't I draw the line way over here? Because it's not going to go through the graph. Well, I haven't drawn the whole graph. This does keep on going up forever, and it does continue to the left. So someplace it will, it will go through that vertical line. It, you know, the y coordinate might be in the hundreds or thousands, but there is a place up there it will happen. Okay, let's take a couple look at a, a few other examples. So this is the exponential curve y equals 2 to the x. And so if I draw a vertical line, oh, look at that. It only crosses in one place. So it's a function so far. Let's say I draw the vertical line here. Oh, it crosses only one place. And you might say, well, why don't we draw it way out here? Uh, it's not going to go through the graph. See, I haven't drawn the whole graph. It does continue up here, and it also continues to the left. So it actually goes through the graph in that place. So that vertical line still only crosses, it crosses in exactly one point. Okay, So because all those vertical lines only cross in one point, it's a function. Okay, so, so let's take a look at an example that's not a function. The first of a few. So this is the graph of a circle. If you want to know the equation, it's x squared plus y squared equals 16. Um, a circle with a center at the origin and the radius, the square root of 16 is 4, so it goes through 4 and negative 4 on both axes. So if we draw a line through there, notice it goes through, cuts through here, and it also cuts through here, the same line. So because that line cuts in two places, we say this is not a function. If you can find some place on the graph where that vertical line, where you're able to draw a vertical line that cuts through in more than one place, it's not a function. And it's kind of useless to draw a line out here and say, oh, that doesn't cross the graph at all, okay, because it's out to the right of the circle. Well, that line just doesn't help you use the vertical line test because you're, the vertical line test, you're using it to try to determine if the graph is a function or not. Okay, so you'd want to draw it in here to find some place where it does go through at one, more than one point. So let's draw, this is like a sinusoidal curve, a trigonometric curve. I'm not going to bother with the equation. If I draw a line through there, it crosses in one point only. If I draw it over here, uh, close to a maximum point, but it only crosses in one place. So this is a function. I can't draw a vertical line anywhere to cross in more than one place. And by the way, it's a vertical line test. We're not drawing horizontal lines here. It's just a straight up and down line, okay? The, there is a horizontal test for something different, okay? But it has nothing to do with the vertical line test. Okay, let's, now we already did a parabola. That was the very first, second graph. But what if we were to draw the parabola on its side like this? Well, see, if I draw a vertical line there, it cuts in one point and it cuts in a second point. So 
automatically as soon as you see that it's not a function and you know again you're not helping to use the vertical line test if you draw a line out here say oh it doesn't go through the graph at all um, and even if you drew it here and you see that actually does just cross in one point okay so those lines aren't helpful to use the vertical line test because you're trying to draw a line so that it goes through at more than one point so that's why you draw the line here or here or here or in here okay last page here and I kind of drew just sort of a random function I shouldn't say function a random graph here it's not a function because if we draw a vertical line there it crosses here here down here and a fourth point here okay so we could call this a relation but we can't call it a function it's not a function and and once again drawing the vertical line out here doesn't help you use the vertical line test because you're purposely drawing it where you're not checking whether it's going to go through in more than one place like for example if i drew it here it would cross in two places and that alone would say it's not a function Okay, uh, last graph. We start with a line. Let's end with a couple lines. Uh, this is the horizontal line y equals 7. It goes through 7 on the y-axis and it's horizontal. And if I draw a vertical line, look, it only crosses there. So it's a function. If I draw the vertical line over here, see again, it only crosses in one place. So it's definitely a function. Now, so that's a horizontal line. What if we drew a vertical line? So let's draw the line this is the line x equals 3. It goes through 3 on the x-axis and it has a, uh, it's perfectly vertical. Uh, the slope is said to be undefined. So now if I drew the line over here or over here, it's not going to help me test that one. But you see, if you draw a line vertical right through it, see every single point that's on that line is also on the original blue one. Like that's a point on both lines. That's a point on both lines. See, that's a point on both lines. So is that one, so is this one, any other point in between? There's an infinite number of points that that vertical line and the x equals 3 line share. So we would say that that is not a function. So, so that's how you use the vertical line test. You're trying to draw, you're looking for places to try to draw the line that will cross your graph in more than one place. And as soon as you hit more than one place, it's not a function. If you can't draw it anywhere, that it crosses in more than one place, then it is a function. That essentially is the vertical line test. And that's the end of the tutorial.